October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Researchers know more than ever about the disease, and that knowledge includes how the genes that cause breast cancer can also lead to other cancers. That's right, and we all can also learn about those individual risks through a series of genetic testing. NBC4 reporter Sierra Johnson spoke with a Central Ohio man who has a better understanding of his risks because of genetic testing. Yeah, that's exactly right. Steve Callister says knowledge, as we all know, is power. After a loved one was diagnosed with cancer, he wanted to take control of his health, and he began looking into that with a look into his DNA. Steve Callister's health story starts decades ago when his father was diagnosed with cancer. My father uh, passed away when I was uh, in my 20s, he um, late 20s, uh, he was only uh, about 60, um, 61 years old. So uh, that was from an aggressive prostate cancer. Callister says before he passed, his father mentioned getting tested to see his risks, but he didn't follow that suggestion until decades later. A job at The Ohio State University led him to experts in the field of cancer, specifically prostate cancer. It was then Steve Callister reached out to a colleague turned friend who suggested genetic testing. And a short time later, Callister, now a married father of two boys in his late 40s, learned that he was BRCA2 positive. It was interesting. I think there was a, an element of surprise. You know, I don't, I don't, um, I don't know that I, 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 I didn't kind of go into it thinking, oh, this is probably, you know, it. And so, uh, um, yeah, I was surprised by it. I wasn't uh, frightened or, um, uh, anything of that nature. BRCA1 and 2, genes that are no strangers to researchers. BRCA1 and 2 are two genes that are very well known because of breast cancer because they actually spell out breast cancer, BRCA. I think the misleading thing about that is prostate cancer as well as other cancers like pancreatic and melanoma and ovarian cancer are also associated. Lindsay Byrne, a genetic counselor at The Ohio State University's James Cancer Hospital, has been working with those who have had loved ones diagnosed with cancer or patients themselves. She talks people through the possibilities of cancer due to genetics. She says the testing isn't as invasive as it sounds. Testing can be done either by blood or a saliva sample. Depending on what a patient needs, we'll do either or. And when the genetic testing is done, it, what we're doing is we're analyzing that person's DNA to see if there's any underlying genetic changes or mutations. This genetic counselor was able to walk Steve Callister through his new test results. He is at an elevated risk for melanoma and pancreatic cancer, and now is taking his health into his own hands, so he's able to live a long and healthy life. It's powerful to have the knowledge, the, the process is easy, and, and people can choose what to do with it. Yeah, good stuff there. Well, this story hits close to home for me. The genetic counselor I spoke with has actually worked with my family. The knowledge that we now know about our own risk has really given us a peace of mind to better understand how cancer could present itself in myself and my family. It's, it's impressive. important information to know, and as we saw, it can impact a lot of different people. So, yeah. Connecting it to other forms of cancer, so like we were talking, yeah. the, the fact that, you know, prostate cancer, for example, mm -hmm. maybe not associated, but the gene, obviously, affects in different ways. It's mm -hmm. very interesting to know that.